Yeah, welcome back again. Uh, in the previous video, I shared with you the properties of cord. I shared four properties of cord with you. We still have another one here today, but here we are going to be looking at the properties of cords, seconds, and tangents. Properties of cords, seconds, and tangents. I've shared four of the properties of cord with you. Now, let's see another one. This one says, if two cords of a circle intersect, then the product of the parts of one cord is equal to the products of the parts of the other. Now, what they are trying to say here is that if you have a circle, you have a circle, and in this circle you have two chords. You have chord A, AB. Now you now have another chord. That means this crosses this. Let's say this is C, this is D. You have chord AB and you have chord CD. This is the point of intersection. Now, if two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the parts of one chord is equal to the products of the parts of the other. That is, AB, let's call this X, the line A to the center, let's call it X, O to B, let's call it Y. Also, C to O, let's call it uh, X1, and let's call O to D, uh, Y1. Now, what this property is trying to tell us is that the product of the parts of A, that is AB, called AB, the product of the parts is going to give you X times Y. You can see X times Y. X times Y. Then the product of CD, CD is going to give you X1 multiplied by Y1. X1 multiplied by Y1. Now, can I say that the product of the parts of this that is x multiplied by y is equal to the product of the parts of the other one x1 multiplied by y1 this is what that property is trying to tell us the product of one part of the chord is equal to the product of the parts of the other that is x multiplied by y is equal to x1 multiplied by Y1. That is all about the property here. Now, if two seconds of a circle intersect at the point outside the circle, then the product of the parts of one second is equal to the products of the parts of the other. That is, if we have a circle, if this is a circle, we know a second. A second is a straight line drawn that cuts the circle at two points. A straight line drawn that cuts the circle at two points. Let's call this A, let's call this B. Now, if you have another second like this, here, let's call this C, let's call this D. Now, let's say at point T. So, the first one, T, D, C is a second, a straight line that cuts the circle at two points C and D. This is another second, T, B, A. T, line T, B, A cuts the circle at two points A and B. Now, this 
Property now say that if two seconds of a circle intersect at a point, this is the point of intersection, outside the circle, outside the circle, then the product of the parts of one second is equal to the products of the parts of the other seconds. Now, what we are trying to say is that if x, if a is x, and if a is y, then we are saying this to be x1 and this one to be y1. Now, the product of the part of one second is equal to the product of the other. Now, from here, we can have TD for the second TDC. TD multiplied by TC. TC then is equal to the product of the other one. TB. TB multiplied by TA. By TA. The product of one part of the second is equal to the product of the parts of the other one. TD multiplied by TC. TD. TD multiplied by TC is equal to TB multiplied by TA. So what I are trying to say is that TD here is X multiply by tc here, tc here will give you x plus y. x plus y is equal to tb here is x1. x1 multiply by ta here is x1 plus y1. x1 plus y1. So that is what that property is telling us. That the product of the parts of one second is equal to the product of the parts of the other seconds. You can see here, TB multiplied by TC equals to TB multiplied by TA, which is this. So this is another formula in case you come across a question like this. This is a formula. Okay, now let's move on. Let's move on to the last one. The last one here says, if a second and a tangent of a circle meet at a point, then the square of the tangent is equal to the product of the parts of the seconds. Now let's see. If we have a circle, If we have a circle, now, a second is a straight line that called the circle at two points. Let's say at point A and point B. Let's call this T. If a second, a second and a tangent, a tangent is a straight line that meets the circle at the circumference. A straight line that meets the circle at the circumference. You can see this. Now, if a second and a tangent, this is a second, this is a tangent, let's call this C. Okay, C. Yes, C. If a second and a tangent of a circle meets at a point, this is the point where the two meet, then the square of the Tangent is equal to the product of the part of the second. What they are trying to say here is that the square of the tangent, this is the tangent, TC is the tangent. The square of this, TC square, is equal to the product of the parts of the second. That is, TB is equal to TB multiplied by CA. CA. If you are saying this by a letter, let's say this is X, this is Y. 
and let us extend this with z with z now what they are trying to say here is that z squared is equal to t b x multiplied by t a will give us x plus y so the products of the parts of a second sphere is equal to the square of the length of the tangent. This, this is another formula in case you see a question like this. Now we have come to the end of today teaching other properties of called second and tangent. I believe you love this. If you love it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.